The Winter Velodrome, Paris, 1914. Jack Johnson defending the heavyweight championship of the world for the fourth time against Frank Moran, the undefeated Frank Moran from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Jack Johnson coming from Galveston in Texas. 58 wins on his record, 60 feats, 10 draws, one no contest. He's 36 years of age now, 10 years older than the challenger who comes to the ring with a perfect 24 fight record. Referee for this one, Georges Carpentier. And of course it's scheduled for 20 rounds. Interestingly, uh, Jack Johnson was the former coloured heavyweight champion of the world. If you may remember that uh, in those old days, of course, coloured fighters weren't allowed to fight for the world championship proper, but he did make 21 defences of the coloured heavyweight championship. So final instructions then from our referee. See the MC they're using in an enormous megaphone. So potentially then 20 rounds of boxing in front of us here. Frank Moran looking awfully nervous. And of course the enigmatic and uh, outrageously overconfident Jack Johnson. Hands on hips. So into round one we go, Jack Johnson, a very laid back individual, hands down, straight backed, Moran, well he's not to land a punch yet, but uh, skipping around this ring, knows of course Johnson's reputation of being a big hitter. Johnson controlling the pace of the fight and of course the distance, that vaunted power of his. fight of course taking place uh, really hot on the heels of the uh, bare knuckle era hence the size of the gloves weighing three ounces barely a punch landed of any note from either fighter so far so Moran's big moment then 24 straight wins the backhander there from Moran Johnson has really cut himself a, a name in the States. A very unpopular man. And this winter velodrome in Paris drew an enormous crowd to watch two Americans contest the heavyweight championship. tentatively going forward, takes a right from Johnson. Jack Johnson, a very economical fighter. Well, things had really come uh, Johnson's way, but the irony was when he fought battling Jim Johnson in his uh, previous defence of the championship, uh, the crowd wanted their money back. It was such a poor fight. It was rumoured that uh, Johnson had broken his arm, his left arm, um, in round three, hence the, uh, the fact that he just used the right thereafter. 
a fracture was diagnosed after the fight. But it uh, also reckoned that it was caused in a wrestling match the night before. But Johnson was one of those fighters who used to fight two or three times a night. So blood then pouring from the right eye here, Frank Moran in round five. Referee Georges Carpentier not getting too close to the action. So Frank Moran then looking uh, very tentative, very nervous. Looking like as bold as he was in the early rounds. And more inclined to hold. Johnson a vicious puncher. There's some interesting names on the uh, record of Frank Moran. No massive names, of course, but uh, he fought the likes of Thunderbolt, Ed Smith, Black Fitzsimmons, great names, Gumboat Smith. Johnson's first uh, attempt to win the heavyweight championship came against Stanley Ketchell. Not Ketchell out in two rounds. And the irony was, uh, Johnson got off the floor to do that. He landed an enormous punch as Ketchell came in to finish him. Knocked out Stanley Ketchell and was dazed and reeling on the ropes when the, uh, the decision was announced in his favour. So Moran now choosing to fight on the inside here, but finding he has as much luck there as he does on the outside. So Johnson then still incredibly economical here, wasting very, very little. Frank Moran, cross-arm guard there. Trying to prevent Johnson from landing. Well, nice long left hand from Frank Moran. And it's clear to see, of course, the link between bare knuckle boxing and boxing with gloves on. You may remember that John L. Sullivan was the first to ask for gloves in the early days um, simply because he kept hurting his hands at such a, a late age. Hence his fight with Jake Kilrain was the last time a bare knuckle fight was contested. And this is the legacy. now in survival mode. And this is probably three or four times livelier than uh, Johnson's previous contest. As I say, the crowd booed and demanded their money back because it was such a non-event. And again, you can't really blame a man with a broken left arm. Around 10 it is. So Jack Johnson in action against Frank Moran for the heavyweight championship of the world. Fourth defense here for Johnson and a nice left hand. Lovely uppercut there from Johnson. That's the puncher used in his previous defense. 
Jared Carpentier there, talking to Johnson for some strange reason. Looked uh, perfectly legal to me. But one thing Johnson does do is he, he tends to hold and hit quite a bit. Holds the left hand, hits with the right. I think that's possibly what the referee was on about. Johnson very well put together. In the old days, the newspapers used to render the decisions, and he beat Al Kaufman on a, a newspaper decision for the heavyweight championship, but of course it wasn't uh, universally recognised. Other wins over James J. Jeffries, also a huge name in boxing circles. Interestingly, against James Jeffries, the uh, venue was especially constructed for one fight, and that was it. Frank Moran then, reduced to uh, trying to defend himself here. Of course, the old adage, adage is, if you can't win, at least go the distance. And Moran holding on, trying to prevent Johnson from connecting with heavy punches. But of course, Jack Johnson knows every weakness that Moran has got. Exploiting every gap he can find, if he can be bothered. He simply can't afford, of course, uh, another fiasco, as in his previous contest. Only as good as your last fight. Johnson looking a wee bit livelier here. A little stumble there from Moran. left jab again there from Johnson. So Johnson then looking a wee bit lively here as the fight has moved on because I think most of the fight has gone out of Frank Moran at this stage. Of course with glove that was this size all it takes is one punch at this weight. So can Frank Moran then turn this one his way? been uh, tough going for him but as you can see Johnson has livened up here quick on his feet because Moran has come out storming for the second win So 
the middle rounds then for Frank Rammer, pretty poor. Trying to put Jack Johnson under pressure here. He knows he could be one punch away from becoming the heavyweight champion. Johnson's clearly one of those fighters that like things to go his way. Fifty-eight wins, sixty feats, ten draws, one no contest for Johnson. It was a perfect twenty-four fight record for Frank Moran coming into this. Ten years between them, with Johnson's experience telling at the moment. So the best round then that Moran has had for quite some time gets shoved to the ropes there by Jack Johnson. Round 19 and Frank Moran still trying awfully hard after a very sticky patch in the middle of rounds coming on quite strongly towards the finish. Johnson containing him. So Moran's last opportunity then of winning this one by knockout, he certainly needs one. 20th and final round of the World Heavyweight Championship and Jack Johnson has been the master. Moran has tried awfully hard in the last three or four rounds to close the gap. And Frank Moran staring the first defeat on his record in the face. Right hand from Moran. Johnson just holds on, walks him off to the ropes. A few weak upper guts to the body on the inside there from Moran. The second sticking away now, Moran's challenge. Good solid left there from Jack Johnson. So after 20 rounds of tough boxing, Jack Johnson does indeed retain his heavyweight championship of the world against Frank Moran for the fourth time.